So, as I always ask you, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment uh, if that's what you would like to do, and I'm going to start your reading right now. No more rubbish. On to the reading. So, the first card you have for your past is the Four of Wands. I absolutely love this. This is fantastic. Um, okay, so what I'm getting here is it's a feeling, and this is a feeling that you knew. You knew you were on the right track. You knew you were on the way to achieving this thing that you really wanted to achieve. I think you were kind of following your nose. You, you're in a lot of different things. You're working hard on all these different things. Uh, you know, you're able to do that. You're very well organized. Um, and then one of these things is going to stand out over the others. And you're going to say, that's the thing that I need to focus on because that's where the success is and that's where you're going. Um, and the thing, this thing is, um, this thing that you're going to focus on, this is the thing you find the most fun. This is the most enjoyable thing. That's the thing that's going to take off. So if this is resonating, you think of all these different things, you think of the thing you love the most, it's most fun, that's the one. So, um, you know, you'd probably do whatever this was for a hobby anyway. Um, I'm actually seeing things being sold. And so whatever this is, there's a personal touch to this. So it might be, uh, these might be products that you've made or designed or something. Um, it's some kind of creative thing that's really personal to you. It has your personal touch on it. And uh, there's social media around this as well, I think. So maybe you're promoting this on social media or, um, or maybe you're thinking about doing that. It was one or the other. What I'm seeing is, if this hasn't happened yet, this is probably going to happen quite soon. Uh, what's going to happen is you're going to be noticed in some way. Someone's going to hold out their hand. They're going to offer support to you. Look at these two women in this car. They're waving. They're asking you to come through this canopy of wands. They're welcoming you. So someone's going to reach out, uh, whether this is a, with a big order or whether this is... Uh, um, someone who's giving you some kind of exposure. It's it's going to be something that's going to kind of lift you out of where you are and up onto the next level. It's a big step up for you. That's what I'm seeing. So, you know, you might have to rearrange other areas of your life around so that you can spend more time on this thing because you are going to have to do that. Um, and I think you do have someone around you who can help you with other areas of your life. So uh, definitely say yes to this person if they offer you help. Um, you know, all I see in this card is, you know, help, welcoming, cooperation. It's so beautiful. And often I see this as 11 11s as well. That's when the gates are opening, when the opportunity comes in. So it's so beautiful. I'm so happy to have that um, in your reading. So the next card you have you passed is the Five of Cups. Yes, so this is the opposite of that, obviously. Um, so, okay, so I think this is about, um, I think this is about a love situation. Uh, it's not a disaster. I'm not seeing you breaking up or cutting ties with anyone. You know, there's still a bridge here. Uh, so you're not doing that. Um, I am seeing someone feeling a little bit rejected, a little bit alone. What I'm seeing is you were really busy at this time. They were busy as well. I think you were both a lot busier than you normally are. And they were feeling this distance. I think they were feeling this a lot more than you were feeling it. Um, you know, you have a big heart, you love with all your heart, but I think they're very different in the way they express that love. Um, I think they're really open, uh, they're expressive, they're a bit emotional as well. And, uh, you know, there might be a fire sign. They don't have to be, but fire signs can be a bit like that. Um, it's a little bit strange because they can also be the opposite sometimes, um, or they have been at one time in your life, a bit on and off. Yeah, I'm seeing one specific time when they were really like that. They were really off. I actually think you might have separated from them or they separated from you at one time. Um, and I'm seeing a lot of stress around both of you at that time. And yeah, you definitely weren't feeling supported by them. They might have even left or maybe they even disappeared for a while or something like that. Um, so I think things feel different now to what they were then. And you're feeling more supported now. I'm getting that. But this past separation, I think, I think it's always been in the back of your mind. I think it's still in the back of your mind. But um, yeah, they were feeling this distance. So if this is resonating, if you're still in the middle of this, try to talk them a bit more, communicate, open off if you can. Sorry, open up if you can. Um, you know, 
you'll have a lot less time to yourself in the future if what I'm seeing here is correct. Um, but the big thing I'm seeing here is um, they're feeling this distance a lot more than you are feeling it. That's what I'm seeing. Well, they were because this is in the past, but they're really feeling this. That's what I'm seeing. So the last card you have your past is the Seven of Cups. Yeah, so I think, you know, you do love this person, but I think you have become a little bit less invested in this than you used to be before this separation happened. Uh, not because you don't love them or you have feelings for them, you do, but this is about self-protection. It's like, in case something goes wrong, I don't want to invest everything in just in case they do this again. They've done it before. I have bad memories of that. I don't want this to happen again. That's what I'm getting in that. There is a feeling of unsurety around this whole thing. And this card can be about being kept in the dark, like this man, confusion, not being sure what to do. And I think you might have a lot of this confusion inside of you because you're not sure, should I totally commit to this? I do love them, I want to. But then there's this thing that happened in the past and I have to kind of, I'm always going to have that in my mind. That's the kind of thing that you're kind of, you're kind of thinking, I think, at this time. So... The other thing I'm seeing here is I think there's someone, might be even two people, maybe definitely one person who you either have to take into account or you have to protect them in some way. I'm getting a really strong feeling that you want to keep things stable for someone else. Um, so that's on your mind as well. And I think you don't want to jump right into this for a second time until you know that this is going to be stable, not just for your sake, but for someone else's sake. That's what I'm seeing in that as well. So I hope that makes sense to you. So it is very specific, I know. Um, okay, so the first card you have your present is the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I keep on seeing this situation. They know you have love for them. They know you care about them, but they're just a little bit stressed by how slow you are to totally trust them again. They might be saying things like, don't you trust me yet? Haven't I proven it to you yet? Why don't you trust me yet? They might be saying things like that to you. Now, of course, it's up to you. If you want to take your time, if you want to work out whether you totally trust someone or not, that's your decision to make, but it is causing friction. I'm not saying you have to hurry up and make up your mind. I'm just saying that you're in this situation, they're in that situation. That's just where you both are. That's what I'm seeing. Um, I think there's also some insecurity around them because um, they might have uh, they might have been through a lot maybe in their past. I'm seeing a difficult family, a uh, difficult family background. I'm seeing a parent, and I think this parent might still be very difficult. Uh, there was definitely some kind of a, a rocky parent-child relationship around them. So I think they probably they probably felt quite insecure growing up. And I think this unsure feeling that they're picking up from you might be triggering that in them. So, um, you know, I'm not making excuses for anyone. That's just what I'm seeing could be happening with them. Um, you know, I'm picking up a lot of specific things in this reading so far, and, and that happens sometimes when, you know, someone really needs to hear what I'm picking up on, so I hope the right person hears this. Um, so, okay, so the next card you have your present is the Seven of Wands. Okay, so I see this all the time in your readings, and you'll probably roll your eyes when I start talking about this person. This is about someone who keeps on wanting to talk to you. They might call you, give you their opinion all the time. They think they're right all the time, whoever this is. Now, I'm actually seeing them trying to speak to you face to face. So they might even be trying to get in your face or it might just feel like that to you, probably does. So you know, you're definitely not interested in hearing their opinions. I think you've probably tried to tell them this several times. Look, I'm not interested, or you probably said it in a polite way. Maybe you're rude, I don't know. But they're not backing off, they're still like this. So um, yeah, you, could, you can't get away from them for some reason. They might be around your work or around your home or something. I am seeing some movement soon. Um, with them. Not permanent movement, um, but I think they might be traveling or going away or something like that soon. So you will get a break then. And, you know, I'd love to be able to tell you, you know, get away from them. You can do this and that. But 
I'm not seeing that happening right now. Um, I'm not seeing a way of that happening. I don't know how that can happen. Uh, and, you know, I can feel the stress around this. So I really wish I could say the opposite to what I'm seeing, but I can't say that. That's what I'm seeing. So, so the last card you have here present is the Ace of Pentacles. So yes, back to the good news. <laughs> we have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is really fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm really happy to see this. I love seeing this in the same reading as the Four of Wands. It's it's just fantastic. Look at this hand holding this coin. You know, I was seeing someone in the Four of Wands um, holding out a hand, reaching their hand out to you. And here's the hand here. Here it is. So, you know, I was seeing several things as well that you're working on. And I think you also have a lot of other things going on in your life. Uh, you're a very busy person. And I think when this really does start to take off for you, you're going to have to really streamline your life a lot more. Uh, you know, you're just not going to be able to do as many things as once. But the good news is, this is something you love doing, so you'll be happy to get rid of some of these old things and, you know, focus on this. Um, I keep looking at this hand, and I think what you're doing here, I think it's eventually going to help other people as well. It's definitely going to be profitable. You know, this is the Ace of Pentacles, obviously, so we know that. So I think you'll probably end up being able to support some of your loved ones, you know, with this hand that's coming up and helping. And I think you might eventually have to employ some people as well if this all goes the way it's supposed to be going. Um, I'm feeling a lot of closeness. I'm feeling a lot of familiarity around this. So you might end up employing people you know, friends, maybe family members. And yeah, a combination of these two cards in the same reading, that just confirms uh, this really beautiful, this really successful path that you're actually on. You know that you're on this. You know that I was saying that in the Four of Wands. You know this. So I just love this so much for you. So the first card you have for your future is the Two of Pentacles. So yeah, again, uh, you won't be able to juggle everything when this all happens. You're going to have to drop some things. So think about the worst, most horrible things that you do. Try and drop those or offload them onto someone else. Concentrate on the things you love and they're the things that are more successful anyway. Um, I'm also seeing your partner, uh, you know, this love connection. I think they're still going to be feeling a bit frustrated by a few things. Uh, the first thing is you're going to be extra busy, obviously, and uh, that's going to take time away from them when this all happens. I'm still getting this feeling that, you know, they'd love to have some kind of indication of some sort of commitment or at least some sign that you totally trust them again. Um, you know, look at this infinity symbol. It's like they're going to be feeling as if they're waiting forever and ever for you to make up your mind. That's the kind of thing I'm getting around this. So uh, if that resonates, uh, I know you need to take your time. You know, you can't be false. It's not like you to do that. You can't be false. You can't pretend to trust someone and commit to someone if you don't feel that way yet. So, you know, I there's still going to be a little bit of stress around this or even more than a little bit uh, from both of you because you're coming from one place. They're coming from another place. Um, but all you can really do about this is just explain how you feel. Be as open as you can. Um, you know, that's all you can do until you've sorted this out in your head, really. So that's all you can really do for now. So, <clears throat> excuse me, the last card, or sorry, not the last card, the next card you have for your future is uh, death. Okay, so this is fantastic. This is a great card. This is all about huge changes, endings, beginnings. Uh, I think eventually you will have a lot of resources, a lot of money coming in. You won't have a lot of time to go out and spend it. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. I'm also seeing a little bit of a warning in this card. Um, you know, if you're not careful, this lack of time might start to get you down. It might even lead to some kind of burnout or something serious if you're not careful. Um, I hate to see the negative in this because it really is fantastic, this thing. Um, but, you know, as, I think as early on as you possibly can, try to have as many people as you can around you helping you. I was seeing someone in the Four of Wands who'd be happy to help you in your home. I think you'll probably need other kinds of help as well in different areas of your life. I'm saying this because, you know, you've had to become really independent, a really independent person um, because of a lot of things that you've been through. Uh, so 
it might not be easy for you to go back to being dependent on other people or feeling that way. But, you know, I think if this is going to work in any way, I think you're going to have to do that. So this is a new thing. This is a totally new thing you're going to have to get used to. So the last card you have for your future is the Page of Wands. No, the Page of Wands. Why am I saying that? Why am I saying, you know why? Because I'm, I'm thinking about this Four of Wands and I'm thinking about how fantastic this whole thing is. It is fantastic, really is. Sorry about that. The Page of Cups. I don't know why I said that. So, yeah, I do know why I said that. What's wrong with me? Okay, so what I'm seeing in this card's really, really nice as well, actually. It's really beautiful. I hope it doesn't put pressure on you because I'm seeing there is um, a chance that might happen. Uh, but it is really beautiful. I don't think this person uh, is meaning to put pressure on you or manipulate you or anything like that. But there might be a little bit inside you that kind of might think that. That's what I'm getting. Uh, this is all about your partner, uh, this person you're connected to. I'm seeing them starting to reach out to you a lot more, just in a really sweet way, you know, sending you little messages, talking to you a bit more, uh, coming up and just chatting to you in a really nice way, putting their arm around you, all of that nice thing. So all those nice things. So um, yeah, they're not meaning to pressure you. Uh, so I really hope you take these messages in a good way and, and what they're doing in a good way. They are going to be feeling a little bit insecure still for a while. Uh, but I think what they're going to do is instead of kind of stressing and saying, oh, don't you trust me? What they're going to do is they're going to start to say, well, I have to prove that um, I'm trustworthy and I have to prove that, um, you know, they can rely on me. So instead of talking and saying things, I'm going to start doing things. So that's what they're going to be doing. Um, they're going to try to just get close to you in really sweet, nice little ways. I'm seeing these nice messages coming in from them. Uh, nice talk. They might want to take you out. They might want you to go out and take them out. They might want to do things with you, suggesting nice things for you to do. Uh, I'm actually also seeing there might be some little gifts coming in as well. Not expensive things, just sweet little things that have meaning to you. Because the point in this is... They're trying to show you that they listen to you, that they understand you and that you can trust them. Uh, and uh, yeah, they're trying to prove all of this to you and that they care to you. Again, not in a manipulative way. I'm not seeing that in this card. I'm just seeing you because the, page, the pages are teenagers. They're kind of innocent. They're very young. So this is a very, their intentions are good here. That's what I'm seeing. And this is just really nice, really lovely. So, you know, it might take your time to, it might take you some time to kind of realise that they're just being very nice to you because uh, you do have this kind of question mark over everything all the time. So, but, you know, if you are wondering if this does happen to you, I'm seeing that their intentions are very pure when they come and do this for you. Um, okay, so... Virgo, I was stumbling my words quite a lot in this reading. I was kind of jumbling and mumbling and all of that. Um, it's, I think it's still going on from last week. It's the jumbling, it's the mumbling, it's the technology that's been happening to me all this week as well. Like last week, phones have been going off, uh, printers not working, laptops going blank, all of that kind. Do you know, I bought, my laptop went blank and I bought a new laptop because it went blank. And then as soon as I bought a new one, the old one started working perfectly again. So there you go. Sorry. Okay. I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings can't always resonate with every single person, every single Virgo. But if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Thank you so, so much for watching.